Last year started off the way most years start off here. It was wonderful, the base measures were strong. Our students came, they were focused, they were excited, they were eager to spend uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur at Yeshivat Shalvim. Guys preparing for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur and Sukkot. Throughout Sukkot, we had a Simchas Beis HaShoeva with parents, an amazing alumni family day for the Bogrim alumni that are living in Eretz Yisrael with over 500 people. Simchas Torah up until the morning was an amazing Simcha story. A lot of Simcha, a lot of amazing Ruach throughout the yeshiva. And then we heard the sirens. That was the first indication something was wrong. I remember that Rav Waxman got up before davening on Simcha's Torah morning. He made an announcement. He said, I don't know exactly what's happening, but I've never heard the Adam getting this busy. And from then on, there was a very, very different feel in the yeshiva. And only as time progressed did we realize how significant this event was. Throughout the day, we noticed slowly soldiers were being called up. More and more details began to come in and we knew it would be a Simchas Torah like none other. Like you were leaning and you look up and you see students from the Israeli program like going in, going to Rav Yamer, getting a bracha from him. In the middle of the second hakafa, came to me one of the Israeli boys and said, Rabbi, I got the message that I must leave. The Rav should give me Birkat Kohanim. And suddenly, a row of 30 boys standing. Everyone wants to get Birkat Kohanim because they have to live. And you're giving Birkat Kohanim, and you don't know if you'll see him again. Most emotional moment maybe in my life was holding my children under the talus during Kol Arim and getting a phone call during the middle of Kol Arim calling me up to go up north. We've had uh, four sons and one son-in-law all called up, drove away on Shabbos, on October 7th. And I have to say that it's been very, very hard. As administrators and uh, those of us responsible for the students here, feeling very overwhelmed about how we were going to care for our students and how we were going to move forward. There was fear in our role and our job as the people who are responsible for the wonderful students job of women is to make sure that they were safe, but they also felt safe. I did unfortunately have to go home for a little bit, which was really hard for me just to be separated from Shalom, separated from Israel. Many of our girls actually uh, went home, flew home. When I came back, it was like, I just stepped back into Shalom. I'm proud to say that after a short number of weeks, Baruch Hashem, our girls were all back. After October 7th, there was more of a purpose in my learning and my davening as well. There were tefillos that have never been heard before. There was a focus and an energy on our Torah learning because we knew that our Torah learning helped our chayalim. One of the classrooms in Shalvim for Women was dedicated only for a gemach. And displaced families came and they got shoes and they got shirts and they got clothing and it was run by women of the neighborhood and women of the Shalvim for Women family. It was an emphasis and a feeling in the Beit Midrash. Your learning really means something. When it came to post October 7th, it kind of became more of an Akhrayas. Every page I turn of the Gemara, that's a daf that hopefully that schus can help save Am Yisrael across the world. We all came together with a sense of achdus that I had really never felt before in my life. In the minute that I heard that Shtevot cannot be ever more in their place, I called Rebek Fendel, that's learned here in Yeshiva, and I told him, this is your house, you're coming here. It was so beautiful to see a completely Israeli yeshiva with an American and Israeli yeshiva come together and they brought a renewed amount of energy. One of the Shannon Beck guys last year, uh, Ben Lando, he organized this whole thing, right? He created a spreadsheet, you had slots, trying to be 10 guys learning at all times. The Torah that had to be learned is Torah Taklal. Torah that Sahal will succeed and Am Yisrael will succeed to bring Kvod Hashem back to the world. So on Wednesday nights, typically, I would take a slot from 2 to 4 a.m. In that slot, those two hours, it felt especially like I can't do any batala. I have to go hard in this learning because the soldiers need this. If they're fighting out there, why are we not doing things to help them from the side in Shemayim? The chasa that was going on in Shalavim during the war was unbelievable. We were looking for chesed opportunities that were both safe as well as meaningful and, and productive. After October 7th, Israel arranged for families from down south and up north to be accommodated in empty hotels. On Hanukkah, the school took us to go do a carnival. We brought a ton of games and we were just dancing with all the kids. In March, we went to Ofakim and we went to Stero and we were able to go on the first day that the kids were allowed back in school. We had Israeli flags and we were all dancing and we gave out goodie bags. It was so 
incredible. It was a very difficult year in many different ways for Klal Yisrael and personally for me and my family. Something that comforted me is that the boys and the girls back in Chavim and Chavim for women were learning in my schos, we're learning in our schos for Klal Yisrael. There was a clear message given over by the Rosh Hashiva that everybody has their tafkid, everybody has their role, their purpose. And for us it's doing what we are doing here in the best way possible. At the end of uh, last year, we were supposed to have uh, a nice masiba, uh, conclude a great year of learning. As we finished Avdala, Rav Ezra ran over to us to ask us to help him downstairs in one of the rooms, and he seemed very strange. And one of the Talmudim asked him, Rebbe, is everything okay? He said, no, everything's not okay. We found out that um, three of the Talmudim and the yeshiva passed away. I gathered the Nechutz Laaretz, and I said, if I'm canceling the Nebi Malka. But they have now a tremendous will from each one of the Kedoshim. A will that their life have to be continuation of the Kedoshim. In terms of Chesed, giving to others, that was so special about Eliyahu. Always wanted to give to everyone. More and more and more. Without even asking, he did things. Inspiration of learning, that was Yakir. To inspire, to learn with Simcha. And happiness was Shalom Menachem, understanding that whatever Hashem gives you is what you, you need, you don't need anything else. And always to be Sameach in life. And maybe something that connects all the Kedoshim together is the giving to Klal Yisrael. That was definitely hard. And I didn't have the schuss to know them all personally. Anyone in your yeshiva, it's your family. It's that night, as opposed to having a hype exciting Malava Malka, we had lights off, singing, reflecting, people crying on each other. But I think it also really honed in on the fact of the theme of the entire year and what it was about. Our learning and our experience here in Yeshiva wasn't just to have a good time and to grow personally, but this idea that was instilled within us throughout this year, throughout the situation that was happening, that really what we have to be doing and all the decisions we're making are not for ourselves and what we want, what Am Yisrael needs. In spite of, or perhaps because of all the difficulties we faced last year, our year was incredibly strong for our students. We ended understanding how impactful and meaningful this year was. And that's something the students will take with them forever. Shivat Shalovim and Shalovim for Women are striving to cultivate the highest level, B'nai Torah, B'no Torah, who will be role models in their community making an impact and taking Am Yisrael right now to the next level. The feeling of inspiration, of seeing people that were willing to answer the call, to do so because of their sense of responsibility. I and so many others left Simchas Torah with a deeper appreciation of the people that we are with each day here in Chalavim.